What's up everyone, it's Kalen from Kite, the AI autocomplete for Python. Today I'll be showing you some of the top websites that help programmers keep up with the latest in everything Python. These online communities are some of the most popular hubs for the latest news about Python, and they're also where cool people show off their projects they've created. I will say, some of these sites focus on Python, so that makes them great resources for a Python programmer of any skill level, while others cover broader topics in the tech world, and so relate to Python for programming more peripherally. I really recommend that you check each of these out. And with that said, let's dive into it. So the first website I recommend checking out is Reddit's r slash Python subreddit. r slash Python is a dedicated community of more than half a million people that are discussing all things about the Python programming language. So here you can find Q&A posts on issues common and uncommon, the latest news on Python's development, and of course, some cool projects that people are sharing that they're working on. Reddit gives us several options to browse, so either by clicking on the most popular posts of a given time frame, or even the newest posts as they come in. And popularity of posts is gauged by the amount of upvotes a post has. So posts with more upvotes will appear in the top section, whereas the recent and popular posts will appear in the hot section. Python subreddit is a great place to learn something new and interesting about Python, since it is frequented by so many fellow Python programmers. It's also a great way to get involved in discussions and help other developers with their projects too. The next website I want to recommend is Dev2. Dev2 is a platform for software developers to write articles, showcase their projects, and start discussions about various development topics. The website supports a wide range of topics and programming languages. We can follow specific tags that interest us, such as Python, and then we'll see the posts about that tag on the home screen. Additionally, each article has a discussion section underneath, so users can use their GitHub to sign in and engage, and then collaborate with others. Another great feature of Dev2 is that the entire website is open source. All of the site's code is freely available on GitHub for you to tweak and tinker with. If you create a profile in Dev2, you can also follow tags such as Python to customize your home screen with topics you'd like to see more from. I definitely recommend checking out Dev2. And next, we have the infamous Hacker News. Hacker News is a news forum much like Reddit, but exclusively for the tech world. It's operated by Y Combinator, probably the most successful startup accelerator in the world. Many large companies have been backed by Y Combinator, like Stripe and DoorDash, to name a few. This website is one of the most frequented forums among those in Silicon Valley. Kite's founder, Adam Smith, was in one of the first Y Combinator batches with his previous startup. You can see him and other Kite team members commenting on Hacker News from time to time. Every day, the front page of Hacker News is flooded with the latest in tech news from around the world. You can find news articles, project showcases, and even the occasional meme. Hacker News even has a jobs tab where startups post job listings for programmers to join their team. I really recommend taking a look at Hacker News, especially if you're looking for a new project idea or even employment opportunities at a startup, so make sure to check it out. Next, we have RealPython.com, a great resource for tutorials and news. RealPython is dedicated to spreading the word about the latest developments with Python, as well as teaching readers more about the language itself so they can upskill. The articles on the website are created by a network of experienced Python developers. I think RealPython has the best Python tutorials anywhere on the internet. I'd recommend RealPython, especially if you're new to developing. All the tutorials are well-researched, comprehensive, and easy to follow. And the last website I'd like to recommend is Slashdot. Slashdot is one of the oldest tech forums around and continues to be a leading resource for programmers everywhere. Here you can find articles about developments in the tech world, including cutting edge research. Slashdot is a large resource and has amassed a major following since it launched in 1997. You can find a lot of great news about Python by simply searching for it in the field on the top right corner of the screen here. You'll find the latest in all things Python posted to Slashdot, and there's even a comment section where people are often discussing specific articles. You may already be familiar with Slashdot since it's been around for almost a quarter century, but if you don't regularly visit it, I highly recommend checking it out. There's a reason it's stuck around for so long. So that's it for this video. I've shared some of my personal favorite websites that I like to check on the daily to stay in touch with the latest in the tech world and even learn something new with Python. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll have more Python tips coming your way. And finally, don't forget to check out the Kite AI autocomplete plugin to code faster and smarter. The link's in the description below.